The Daco is home to many legends. Out of modern times, there's Seal Dupree and Mark Coma on the bikes. Oldest ever winner, Joseph Makacek and Nasser Eltier, Carlos Sainz and Mr. Dakar, Stefan Peter Hansel for the cars. Going further back, you have truck legends Carol Lapras and Vladimir Shahin from the 90s and thousands. And then you've got Eddie Oyali on the bikes in the late night 80s and early 90s. At the same time, Ari Vatanen was leading the way in cars. However, in the beginning, there were a few names that stood out. Sil, Neovu and Hubert Oil fought in the bikes, the former being a five-time category winner and the latter a three-time DACA win, including in the cars in 1992. In the cars though, there was one name that stands out in the early days, René Magin. Before Vatanen and Persia, there was Magin and Porsche as the duo to beat. Born in 1941, René first made his name in circuit racing in the 70s. After a brief time in single seaters, he raced in the French Touring Car Championship, finishing second in 1976. Then the following year, he raced at the 24 Hours of the Mon for the first time, finishing second in the Group 5 category in a Porsche 911, alongside Annie Charlotte Vernet, Danny Solbeck, and Herbert Schrubig. Another second overall finish in the 1978 French Touring Car Championship followed before the, the event that would define his, his career. Began. The first Dakar rally in 1979 saw René enter in a Range Rover but he didn't reach the finish. He switched classes to the trucks for the first time in 1980 getting 7th in a Leyland Marathon. However it was back in a Range Rover in 1981 alongside Bernard Girox that Minge would achieve his first success in the rally raid. It was the second and last time a Range Rover would win though, after leading the way with Adon Jean Sturrier in the inaugural event. Finishes didn't follow with the Range Rover in 82 and 83, and on the circuit he saw lots of success. He finally won the French Toy Car Championship in 1982 at the World of a Rover 3500, and clinched his best overall result at the moment with 5th and 2nd in the IMSA GTX class in a Porsche 935 with Sobek and Francis Servain in. In 1984, the Porsche factory team came calling as he was paired with 1983 winner Jackie X in the Dakar. After 6,200 miles, he saw success first time out in a Porsche 953, a very modified 911 with a custom four wheel drive system and upgraded suspension. He became the first multiple time winner in the car class, but things would get better in 1986. Debuted in 1985, the Porsche 959 was specifically made for off-road racing. With twice the power of its 953 cars and the car dominated a somber 1986 Dakar, which saw a race founder Thierry Sabine with four others killed in a helicopter crash just after the halfway mark for the event. More success at Le Mans followed as Mijij joined his teammate X as a class winner at Le Mans and the Dakar with 7th overall and 1st the IMSA GTX class in a Porsche 961 with Claude Ballard Lennard. He won another title in 1987 in the Porsche 944 Turbo Cup. France and entered his 6th and final Le Mans, although he didn't finish the race. He became the director of the Dakar Rally 2 in 1987, but only did it again in 1988. He retired from circuit racing in 1989, but he did return to the Dakar 5 years later in a Perlini truck finishing 6th in class. He was the co-driver of F1 winner Patrick Tombe as they finished 13th in 1996, then of Johnny Halliday in 2002. Rene returned to the driver's seat in 2003 with his daughter alongside him as they finished 23rd overall. Another driver out in 2006, then a 14th and final appearance at the Dakar in 2007 followed as he co-drove touring car champion of our mother to 22nd overall in a buggy. His nephew Michael does still compete in the Dakar, first as a rider and now as a co-driver in the SSV class. Afterwards, he founded the Africa Eco Race with fellow countrymen and two-time Dakar winner John Lewis Stresser. As the Dakar moved to South America, this independent event would follow the same path as the old Dakar and continues to this day with 122 entries this year setting off on the 30th of December in Monaco and finishing in Dakar on Sunday. Sadly, Rene will not see the finishers as he passed away on the 3rd of January at 82. One of the all-time greats for off-road racing and for Porsche, can we repeat that 86 win in his Porsche 959 
and make him the first three-time winner in the car class once again. Welcome to the Boviak. And 2020. As before a certain thing happens, we're heading to the desert. And in the CR car, we'd, we'd done a practice run in the Porsche. It is a difficult car to drive. As we're not messing much with the tyres apart from pressures all the way down. Suspension as well. Anti roll bar is actually pretty soft. Maybe I need that a bit stiffer. Surprise the ride height and straight and sped stiff will keep the same. Diff is oh, I thought that'd be at 50. Again it's slightly more to the front. And then bright balance, oh my god, bring that back a bit. There we go. Nice. Alright. And then we'll check out the road book. So we got a bit of a long stage actually for the open stage. 323 kilometers, scattered clouds, two control points to watch out for as well. About 105 waypoints and we're going off road pretty early. You can see we're mostly following some roads in it's like in the 50 kilometers. I mean first 100s again we've got a bit off road. We've got our first 90 zone at just around 100 kilometers. First control point soon after. And then we're going off road again. Another 90. 140. Another 90. 160. What the hell? So many 90. 170. 180. And then the next control point just before the 200 kilometer mark. And another 90. And we've got back to back. Oh, lots of 90s to watch out for. 240 kilometers as well. We get back onto the road and again follow that for quite a while. Slight off road, back onto the road before it ends. So, lots of control points to watch out for. A speed limit and an old car which is a beast to drive. Let's see how we do. There we go! 2020 Dakar. As the sun is already blown, just perfect. Going left, going left. As we got his native language in our ears. It's been a long time since I had to know his French, so. <laughs> I recognise most of these words. The last, I learned French when I was like in GCSE here in the UK, which is like 14 to 16 years old, so it literally is like half a lifetime away from me, so yeah, I probably won't, won't recognise like any of these words. Let's go left. And yeah, we're going to be using lots of like real, real corrections in this car. So yeah. At least we've got the subtitles to help us. Going left again. Let's go out the darkness into the light. And yeah, sorry. There we go. Oh no. Oh, those are rocks. We've got, I we're going to have a lot of that this rally where I'm just not going to realise how they have to brake in this car. Of course, being almost 40 years old, I like, have to brake a bit earlier. So yeah, we're going to have probably lots of occasions like that where I'm like, oh god, 30. Yeah, so off road for the first time. He's not. Uh, so we've got like a mini waypoint value in this like first up. Okay. Oh, 20, not 30. So 
God, this is rough, isn't it? I thought it'd be a nice little gin to opener, you know, like, like Dakar 18. Or like Dakar 21 or 22. Oh, look, at this, look at this terrain. Rough as hell. Watch out for the rocks. Oh, this is like, so like Argentina or, per, or Bolivia. Maybe a bit of Peru as well for like Dakar 80. This is not. Where's my, where's my dreams? Where's the sand? Where's the rock or whatever? We just sit there? That was, there was not a rock there, was there? What the hell was that? Got the force or something stopping us there. What? Again? There's no rock there, is there? Weird. At least there's no damage, I guess. But I don't know what that is. Yours? Perfect. Oh, you call me boss? Oh, love the sweat from the co-driver. Oh, what the fuck? There was definitely no rock there. What the hell is going on? Has he got Brian and Heck behind us? You can see. Two the South Africans chasing us down. Got less than 300 kilometers to go. We're so close to the finish already. Two We've got to get the wipers out. Oh my god! I wish I had the wipers on from the beginning. That is going to annoy me having these streaks on the windscreen. And we're so close to it. As you can see, we're like slightly different seating position to normal. Like we're still cockpit, but. And so we're right up to the windscreen here because I did try and use like the steering wheel view, like with the steering wheel visible, but it's a bit far back. The windscreen's a bit locked in with like the banner at the top. And then I did also try using the co-driver view, might sound weird, but you've got a great view of like the road book in that view. And you can see outside the windscreen alright, but it's just a weird view to drive from. Maybe good for like replays and stuff, but not not the drive from, so... Oh, alright. There we go, again with the brakes. Uh, sorry helicopter, I'm making it go into the rocks now. No fault. I'll, be pay I'll pay attention to the road book, right? As I don't understand the... French that well, so maybe I'll just play a digital robot. But I like this view as well, though. As I say, it's a bit more wide open, you can see a bit more out the windscreen. I like how everything's like positioned there as well. Like the robot's right next to the cap. Cap head in. I don't have to like glance across like I do in like the truck for example and I do have to nip down for the speed but I don't think the speed will be that bad for us though in this like we're gonna barely reach 170 I feel like and this is like a flat section like this that's all we get you know the warning for the first time now 150 I thought you normally get it at like 160, okay. Like 10 km gap or something. Can we boss again? That's all my god, tristy stuff. Oh, someone's turned off the lights. What the hell? Oh, no, they're turning them back on. Thanks for that. No, they're turning them back off again. Oh my god, we start like energy saving here. What's going on? Oh, I know. Um, can I meet? Can I meet? Oh my god, brakes, brakes, brakes. Again, got a brake early. 
1 km, continuez sur la piste. Attention, I'm gonna drive it like the truck, really. Kyber Menzen, break early Kyber Menzen. 1 km, virage à droite en approche. Attention, danger 3, boss, descente, entre les cailloux. A bit better power the right way, sure, in this. A droite sur la piste, danger 3, boss, descente. That's heavy. 1 km, virage à droite en approche. Attention, danger 2, descente, entre les cailloux. Yeah, I like how everything looks in this. And yeah, with the speed, like it's probably going to be advantage and disadvantage not being close to the, you know, 170 a lot. As here we go, note again, we're close. Oh, up to 169. Tout droit, cap 289, danger 2, boss. Un kilomètre, serré à gauche. I wonder what's happening with that. Oh, that's at the bottom of that. Un kilomètre, continuez sur la piste. Attention, danger 1, caillou. Cap 269, hors piste, quittez la piste, caillou. Continuez vers la piste, danger de sinueux. Oh, à la piste. Un kilomètre, restez sur la piste. Attention, danger 1, sinueux, sinueux. Oh yeah, it's going to be, we're going to probably be a bit slow pace-wise overall. We have Attention, faster stages, so we're definitely gonna maybe be better on the twisting, twisting stuff. Maybe stages like this actually with lots of stop starting Boss. might be better for us. But it does mean as well we're not gonna get like speeding penalties against the good advantage. I won't get as many as I will on the trucks. I don't know about that. Uh, so going right at that tree. I know it's saying there's a big ass rock. Where's the big ass rock? Oh, there's the big ass rock. Big ass rocks in front. Look at that. Look at that map. Look at that range. Oh. 336. Once again, we're just slightly off road. Don't want to venture too far on this rough stuff. That's uh, three five one. Just so we've got another kind of mini waypoint valley again. Second of this stage already. Not even hundred kilometers through yet. Yeah. Oh, not want to be flat out. Exactly like we were in. Continuez sur Cap 345. Stages in Argentina, so I'm not trying to be fat in this rough stuff. I know there were more dangers than that with the rocks and hitting trees and stuff being hidden behind plants and stuff. All these would have been like hitable as well. It's not hitable on this. Oh, I did go the right way for it. I brought him in the wrong way though. Oh, yeah, there's tyres. But turn at the tyres. Remember, we're looking out for tyres in this, not not barrels. Oh, I remember these. This is ten. Remember that? And Vans 20. And then Tron is for 30, isn't it? See, it's coming back to me, the numbers. <laughs> that, that might be helpful. Don't worry, I'll be fluent French off. this, buddy. Oh yeah, Caron. Sans. Like a hundred, isn't it? Attention, zone de limite de vitesse à 90 en approche. Attention, that's attention. Maintenant, cap 263, hors piste, danger 3, boss. You call me boss. Uh, oh, we got a 90, the first 90. Attention, zone de limite de vitesse à 90 en approche. Continuez sur cap 263. Début de zone de limite de vitesse à 90, cap 260. Oh, so down a bit too much there. Fin de zone de limite de vitesse, cap 246, hors piste. 2 km, continuez sur cap 246. Attention, danger 3, boss. Alright, 
then we've got way 0.264. Don't really slow down. This is waypoints are pretty flat, pretty straight. Just mix a couple up. Cap 264 still. I was looking at the next one, 339. And that's why we're heading into the sea, are we? I don't know what's going on here, do it. That's all we got the 30. Got our first control zone that's like coming up. Oh yeah, you can see we got the pace in this car like we should. We've got 400 horsepower under our foot. Oh, look at that. We even found the tires. Damn, that was, that was a very good run on that cap here then. Attention, zone de limite right, de vitesse just for the helicopter. So what's he bright? Oh, is he bright sneaking at the bottom of our... Oh, and there is... Oh, where's the... Oh, there's the boards. I almost went in the back of the three-wheeler. What the hell? Do you realize that there are those racing in the Dakar? Bike with a passenger? It's like the, it's like the old days. You know when cars used to have a riding mechanic? Because I guess that's what they have in the bikes now, is it? I guess you're a bit slower than, you know, the average. Like KTM or Honda or Yamaha. Or Hero. Right, okay. We can literally just follow in the wheel tracks though. Ooh, well, that was not a good land. Remember, they've got no speed limit. We we do, but it seems like we're still closing on them. As long as we don't get too close, I guess, I'll be happy. Maybe, maybe they just want to be a car or buggy. They're just, they just couldn't afford it. They're like, I want to bring my friend along to the Dakar, you know. I want to bring him along, but I've only got a bike. What can I do? Oh, okay, that was too heavy that landing. Oh god. Still got no warnings though. Oh shit, no, we do have a warning. Oh, well, can I last till the next? Is it control zone before changing stuff? I'm worried about that yellow light. I don't know what it's for. If it's for radiator or transmission, I'm a bit screwed because I don't want to damage the engine. Oh, we're basically just staying on the tree, on the trail here, on the traces. I think where they don't say this is follow traces when we literally are just following traces. Oh, I just say follow traces soon, okay. There we go, follow traces. Alright, we've got less than 200 kilometers to go. Yeah, so almost speeding again. We do have a 90 coming up. Tires. So Brian is getting closer. We've got Shamir now in third as well, another South African. Chasing us down. Oh my god, these are big jumps. Continuez sur Cap 320. Attention, danger 3. Dune, arbre sur la droite. Thank you. Oh my god, that's a big jump. <laughs> Lucky there's a road coming up soon to do it. 
Oh yeah, get me to the smoother stuff. I would love that. <laughs> like, oh god, make you're making noises now as well, Carlos. Like oh, back to the road. Back to the piss. The piss. The piss. There you go. The piss. So oh, no, we're going. Oh, we're following traces. Deux kilomètres. Virage serré à droite en approche. Attention, danger 1. Cuvette entre les arbres. We'll go back to the roads. I don't want to. <laughs> right, I've got to see where these traces are. I can't. Droite serré vers grâce. Quittez la piste. Cuvette. There's only no traces over here. I can't see them. There's the traces. There's the traces. Un kilomètre. Virage à droite en approche. Attention, danger 1. Boss. I'm right, following traces for a while. So I can just concentrate on the roads. Un kilomètre, restez sur les traces. La trace. Is that traces? Un kilomètre, virage à droite en approche. Attention, danger 3, boss. Continuez sur les traces. Danger 3, boss. Deux kilomètres, virage à gauche en approche. Yeah, I see two waypoints close together. That must mean a 90. Attention, zone de limite de vitesse à 90 en approche. Tout droit sur les traces, boss. There it is. Oh. oh, okay, I thought it was a bit closer to that bridge. That's not too bad, actually. Give us a bit, give us a bit of room to break. Right, keep following traces. Yeah, so halfway through the stage as well. Only slight damage. <laughs> He's alright. No, Brian kilomètres. is really Attention, catching up to us. Un, Which I'm not liking the look of. It's easy in his like sentry as well, it'd be like the two world drive by girl thing. So it's not even like the top you know like mi well, I don't have mini in this, but they're like the top. Like Toyotas, or. We catching us. I should know Shamir's an A Toyota. Uh, let's take you back to some nice roads. And there's a fence coming up, and another 90 green. That's what I'm Un kilomètre. Attention, zone de limite de vitesse à 90 en approche. Début de zone de limite de vitesse à 90. Tout droit sur la piste. Danger 2. Boss. Un kilomètre. Virage à gauche en approche. Fin de zone de limite oh, de vitesse no. à gauche sur la piste. Boss. Look at the end. Deux kilomètres. Virage à droite en approche. Attention, danger 3 sur toute la ligne. Oh, Boss. Caillou sur la gauche. We can't afford to get any penalties in this. Well, we want to entertain being, you know, high in the standings. À droite vers les traces. Quittez la piste. Danger 3 sur toute la note. Montez. Boss, attention. Zone de limite de vitesse à 90 en approche. Un kilomètre. There's a bit of a ninth coming up again. Continuez sur les traces. Sable. Début de zone de limite de vitesse à 90. Continuez vers la piste. Quittez trace. Fin de zone de limite de vitesse. Restez sur la piste. Boss. Oh, don't drive into the rock. That'd be good. Deux kilomètres. Serré à droite. Entre les cailloux. Oh, we are leaving the road soon, though, and it's like... Serré Row 7. Droite, cap 305. Un kilomètre. Virage à droite en approche. Attention. Danger 2. Cailloux. Cuvette. Is that a barrel? What the hell's that? Oh, they're meant to be tires. Danger 2. Cailloux. Cuvette. Un kilomètre, virage serré à gauche en approche. Oh my god, on some more rough stuff. Maison sur la gauche. Oh, just like I need. Maintenant, cap 232, hors piste, danger 3, two, three, boss. Two. I got your mind. Deux kilomètres, virage à droite en approche. Attention, danger 1, cuvette, maison sur la gauche. Back to the road. We might be going back to the road. <laughs> Is this the road? Yeah. À droite vers la piste, cuvette. Un kilomètre, continuez sur la piste. Attention, danger 1, boss. Oh my god, I thubs. thought the heading was broken boss. then. 
Uh, so, oh my god, thank god there's a control point coming, I can see the damage then. That's, oh my god, I see bright riders. I thought he disappeared for a sec there, but... Hiding under the... What's it? Waypoint marker there. Oh my god, we hit 171. I told you this car can go. Is this sort of the speed we'd normally like enjoy? Or at least try to enjoy is like that 160 to 170 mark. Just like the charts 130 to 140. Buggy's 120 to 130. Alright, we'll quickly check the damage. What is yellow? 93. Right rear brake, right rear suspension. Exhaust. Alright, I don't care about that. That's fine. It's not the radiator. That's all that matters. The engine's, engine's okay. Because if we damage the engine... If we damage the engine, that's like an hour to repair. That's our rally over. Oh, got it, traces. Don't mind me. What are these traces being hidden all the time? Oh, oh my god, what is that? I guess we'll just go straight ahead. <laughs> yeah, this is 337. See, now this is more like, you know, Peru or Bolivia. But like, nicer. Maybe because I don't have all those, like, rocks and tricks, like, all over the place as well, which get, like, punch your tire and stuff. The spice punches aren't more of a thing, actually. Uh, so we've got another 90 coming up. Because, yeah, it's a big single course, you know, in a real DACO, but it's not in this at all. You can literally go for the whole rally without having to change your tires. Oh my god, that was good timing, oh my. Look at that, that was like F1 position, that one. Oh great, another 90 coming up. There's kind of no point going up to fear force there. Nice. Back to following traces. And our car's struggling. Oh my god, it's a little incline. Are you kidding me? Come on, Porsche. I think we actually have been pulling away from Brian as well. He's not as close as he was, I think, looking at the side. But it can be, again, a bit misleading at the side. Like, you know, it's close to us, but he's minutes behind us. I can guarantee that. Uh, it's got less than 100 kilometers to go. Literally flying in our Porsche. This is a great car to drive, it's... Do you have to, again, be careful with the rear, though? Like in any board, like rear engine. I don't know, I don't know where I'm going. Don't mind me, just follow my own road. But any Porsche, you just got to be careful on the brakes. Especially in this game as well, easy to rotate the rear normally. So, as you saw already, we almost rotated it once. So, you just got to be careful of that. That's why you want the brake bars a bit more. I would want it more forward as well, but I want more braking, but that's why I pushed it back a bit. So, I practice having it that far forward, and it's just not. Brakes are even worse. So, I think I prefer it like this. 90 kilometers to go. Oh, no. Oh, okay, I won't put it in fifth. Third you car. What the hell is that to the right hand side? I don't see that. 
just seeing rocks. Uh, there's old great, another 90 coming. Right, we can tell with the two waypoints close to each other. Oh god. I like that we haven't seen any... Oh, hello. Who's that in front? Is that a quad? I can't tell. Is that a buggy? Uh, it's over the bridge right now. That's where I've found... Oh, hang on, is that... Is that Bob and his friend? What the hell? Oh my god, get out. Do not break like that. <laughs> Jesus. Lucky this is lots of wide open roads. Oh my god. Right, at least we cleared them. They might hold up Brian actually. Maybe that's why they've been falling back. Maybe just had traffic issues as well. Hopefully we know. Do have a tight left coming? I see I'm making my own tight lefts as well. Nice, all right. 250 kilometers down. 70 or to go. Well, they surprisingly tough first stage, even though we've been mostly on the road when we've been off road, though it's been rough. Must have just landed heavy on the right rear as well. That's what caused that issue. I've seen a big disadvantage of the Porsche as well, like struggling up and down these. Inclined, but again, that would happen in the cars normally, apart from the Audi. Because it's got like a hybrid electric power. Actually, is that a hybrid? It's mostly electric, isn't it? Oh, I know this on. That's this on. <laughs> I know Assault. That's Assault in English as well. I don't remember this though. Actually. I remember this bit at least. Actually, no, it's not from this stage. It's from. What's it? Sport mode. Which was a section through as well. Sport, sport or. What's it? Pro mode. That's all. Didn't hit me hit 173. That was not me. There's 60 kilometers to go. And hit the fence posts. Oh, probably boss again. Oh, nice. Obviously, like in the high speed, I guess. Remember, we do follow the road for quite a lot, and then there's a little section at the end where we go off road. If I remember. So we better enjoy the smooth stuff before it gets a bit rough again. It's got a bend coming up. Nice. And then we got to go left. Is that here? Where's Big Rock? There's Big Rock. There's less than 50 k's to go. Oh my god, what is that next right but no. Is that just going... Oh no, I'm going to go in that road, I think. I think. That's the house. That's the... Oh, that's the road to the house. Okay, maybe not this road. But I don't see any... Oh, there's the other road. Is that another road? Oh my god, I don't... I only see this road. I'm so confused. 
Yeah, that road just leads to the house. And then we got this road. What's the other road? I'm so confused with that. So I'm trying to confuse me. Oh. The ghost have returned. Maybe, maybe it's Rene. Maybe he's just like... Maybe he's seen what we... As soon as getting lost, he's like, you don't deserve to be in this car, mate. Get out. I'll be like, 100% agree. <laughs> I'm sorry. They also, also shows as well, don't pay 100% attention to the road book actually look outside the window. Oh, that's a rock. I want to go to the rock again. Oh, God, yeah, it is rough. Oh, surprisingly on cap, though. Oh, that's a Brian, he's, you know, he's closed minutes, no doubt, on us. But he's still minutes behind us. Over there are penalties. Is that the only, only way we can stay ahead of them? That way we're all at the end of this. Uh, and that's the... He's sending it over the dunes. Less than 10 waypoints to go. Around 30 kilometers. Oh, look at that. We're on next to the tyres. We are firing cat much better than I remember last year, so... That's a good sign. Just really annoyed at that four minute pen. It's better to speed than, you know, go one kilometer over on the. In the control zone. Better speed normally, because you saw the truck, it's only like a 10 second penalty. Oh. Oh, Going too quick. Back it up. Back it up. Hi everyone. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt your dinner. I'm going. Oh, Brian's not even on the map now. Two kilometers. Virage serré à droite en approche. Attention, danger 3. Dune. Oh, that's not bad. Until we missed our turn off. Five waypoints to go, 20 kilometers. Oh, and big jumps. Dune. I know that. Good. <laughs> So that's the end. I think it's the end of our off-road adventures, or is it? Yeah, and it's like we're going back to the road and following traces after this. Which I'll definitely be happy with. Let's say he cuts nicely alongside us. Oh, so you aim at those rocks and then break. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I love the madness of rally sandals. Yeah, just aim for the rocks and then, you know, everything will be fine. Let's go for the water, clean the car a bit. And 311. So here. Oh my god, we can see the arse. It's better as well. Oh, that might be the wrong arse, actually. Sorry about that. Might have had some code brown moments, you know. I might need to, <laughs> might need to clean up after this stage. As in this, I'm going to make it through in one piece just about, though. But that is the main thing. Despite the silly penalty. Made it through in our Porsche 959. Uh, so, Shamir, look at him. 
Three closing. Head of Brian as well, so they've gone really quick on this first stage. And so there's the arse in front, Kilometer. And we're through. And yeah, we did do shit. <laughs> God damn it. As without the penalty, we would have been top 10 actually, which is pretty good. But pace wise, yeah, we are a good five minutes off. Off the V is. And then we got the shake. And then we got this pre mortal bike winner. Heck. Tembrinka. Ricardo. Pro Prokof. Alexandra. It's like Weihan and the Cornells in 10th. So yeah, there we are in 14th. As uh, Brian actually did have lots of penalties. Same, same for Nanny Roma. And Loeb as well. Oh wow, so the Pro Drive's not doing well in the Hunters. Same for NASA down in 17th. Yazid in 16th as well. So same for the Toyotas actually, apart from De Villiers. And heck as well, so... Interesting. Yeah, the guy is closing in for me. He's just one place ahead of us. So it's not too bad, actually. I thought it would be worse pace rise, apart from being five minutes off. So long rally ahead. Let's see what we can do next stage. <laughs> 